Doctor, you, you talked a little bit about how fluoride and, and, and oral health came to be. What about f fluoride in the water systems, which I think is pretty prevalent in this country now? Uh, actually, this is one of the most fluoridated countries. I, I, I can give, them, give the fluoridated countries to you. They're Australia, New Zealand, Canada, United States, and Ireland. What do those countries have in common? They speak English because it's a lie. And if somebody from some other country comes in and they don't speak the language, you don't listen to them. And so fluoride, the stuff they're putting in the water is not fluoride. The stuff they're putting in the water is a very complex molecule that is got sand at the heart, six molecules of fluoride, two free hydrogen uh, molecules flying around, or H3O if you want, and it is a magnet for lead. So this is called hydrofluorosic acid. There's a patent in the U.S. Patent Office to use this to extract lead from brass. So when they add this to the water supply, it causes lead to absorb into the children and adults. And so now you have all lead-related illnesses, you know, your heart disease, your lower IQ, your, your immunosuppression. Allowing industry to dispose of silico fluorides in our public water supplies is a gift of our community water supply to industry because it's no benefit at all to the children. Everybody admits it'll poison a baby, mm -hmm. and it sucks lead into the bodies of the people that drink that water. And there are now uh, four huge studies showing the same thing happens to both rats and humans. Lead, silico fluoride, high levels of blood lead levels.